What's going on, people? You <laughs> <laughs> can't even get through the intro. <laughs> oh, it's long, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm creasing from the intro. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oi, let me try and get composure, blood. What's what's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright, Chelsea, God. this is your fault, isn't it? This you is so fault. <laughs> a great you part of you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> God. What's going on, people? Troops TV, back again. Back up, blood clock again, blood. Do you understand? Episode 207. Eliza, Zaza? Yes, sir. Episode 207 of Back Again. And Arsenal are back again, blood. You get me? That's why. But we're laughing at them, <laughs> isn't I'm laughing at certain man, blood. Like, man, man was getting trolled before we pre- we press live, blood. You know? <laughs> That's why the, the, the intro is all over the place today, blood. You get me? Man will try to wear the same top I'm wearing to blend in. You get me? Like, I came, uh, I came repping Bob Marley and my Dutch brothers. He came disowning his team, blood. Yeah, I'm surprised well, he ain't got like a... Rep the Dutch as well. My home I'm away su- from home. I can't do that either, no? I hear that, but I'm surprised you ain't got the Ethiopian flag behind you, blood. You understand? They've covered like... <laughs> hey, the Ethiopian colours. The Ethiopian colours aren't there. Yeah, but well, you still got your little Chelsea pictures there and you got your Chelsea cup, but you, they are mugs, so it's only right you have a Chelsea mug. You remember the good times, innit? You understand? Look, man is literally reminiscing, blood. He's in his room just looking at the... like. You know when you have them emotional moments, like I had it when we saw Van Persie to United, blood. Like you just look at the poster and you're just like, oh, the, the good time, bro. I'm having that Great now. Time. We we just sold your genio to you, lo. I'm having that now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the present day, bro. <laughs> but as you can see, people, J Five Zaza is back again. Yes, sir, with a I'm- big smile on my face, bro. You see, my man was shitting his clock, ready to flip in, <laughs> give it all in. You understand? But but he's back again. You know, he's shining like his t-shirt, blood. You get me? Yes, flawless. Sir. His team's looking flawless right now, blood. You understand? Are you telling me, broski? Yo, blessed for having me back. Much appreciated. Obviously, good to be on with Zah for the first time as well. Lewis, my brother, are always in it. So I stream with Lewis on a regular. So yeah, man. And like you said, Manchester United have been on point. So I'm happy. I'm saying I got no complaints. I'm here looking forward to games. So yeah, man, ten hard working miracles, <laughs> working miracles. Lewis, and Lewis, <laughs> he, is, is, he needs, I'm he needs a it. miracle, blood. <laughs> <laughs> he, need, have, he needs a matter winning games. <laughs> you got to worry about shit. Me, I can't even get to forty <laughs> points. Oh, to get to 40 how points many so. weeks have I been here and I've said road to forty points and we ain't getting there? And he's still ain't there, bro. It's a gap, bro. Yo, man, you better, you better nine points short, you're going to get there, man. Nine draws, man. Nine draws, fam. You, you're calm. Nine draws. Where are those draws coming from, bro? Where are nine draws coming from? I have to go where this shirt is to find nine draws. I won't find it with Chelsea, bro. I, I won't find it with these bums. Bottom of the table, Southampton, you know, and they done the double on our heads. And people wonder why I don't talk about top four. How many wins? How uh, many wins in twenty twenty three? How many one, wins in twenty twenty three? One wins, you know. One and people had the and cheek. Even then people had the cheek to it. People had the cheek to like, as well about top four. And you was like, we ain't making top four. People were like, why can't Chelsea how, how make top four? How are you not four? confident for top <laughs> four? <laughs> how are you not confident for top six? Oh man! Probably how you, much money in the transfer go. window spent? <laughs> Six hundred mil. 600 mil, 600 mil yeah. and then the same frauds are still here. And the, oh, all just to man. sell our only fit six oh, to you guys. God. And then we play Enzo Fernandez out of position. Oh, hey, that's our yeah. genius football. Because I, I was told you. when Jorginho was moved on, you will be calm in transition. And, and then I see Enzo getting caught. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, and you know what that is? We sell Jorginho for 37% possession in the first half against bottom of the table Southampton. But hey, I'm so glad that our midfield's a lot more solid now that we sold Jorginho. Hey? Yeah, facts, yeah. That's Stupid ass fan place. base, Alki fan base, always holding us back. The value road runners over technical ability. Same old shit. <laughs> road runners. Same old shit. That's the perfect place to start, blood. Villa Park. <laughs> Arsenal went up to Villa Park 
up to Birmingham, up Villa. to Aston, <laughs> Ast- Villa, the villains. Villa. <laughs> My dad's from Aston, the pussy, oh, blood. That's that's one of the things I know about that fucking pussy, blood. You get me? So oh, whenever we got there and slap them, man, I'm all for it, blood. You get me? But Aston Villa 2, Arsenal 4. It, it wasn't looking like that come the 92nd minute, blood. You get me? The the 90 minutes that we saw was was a stressful watch. You get me? It, it was... It was Arsenal in a nutshell, blood. You understand? That is what supporting Arsenal Football Club is about, blood. If you want to ask an Arsenal fan, show me every emotion of supporting your club. Put that game on. <laughs> That's what yeah? you Because one minute you're cussing, one minute you're in it, then you're cussing again, then you're in it, then you lose hope, then you win it, blood. Yeah, it's, it was literally yo-yo settings, bro. You understand? But we managed to get over the lines, so you understand? That took us back to the top of the league. And I've been saying Bakayo Saka, blood. You understand? Bakayo, blood, Clark, Saka. I've been singing his praises the whole season. You get me? I was, uh, I've was. i been defending him since the, the Euros. Robbie even has finally admitted it. Because that pussy don't admit nothing, blood. You understand? He would try. He, he, he would try. You know, Lewis Blood. He would try claim that everything is, is his. I said that. It was me. Da, da, da. But he knows I was the one that said, but Kyle Blood Clark Saka is the player to build this Arsenal team around. You understand? I said that way back in, 20, mm. in, in 2019 in a preseason game, Blood. So I foresaw this, Blood. I knew that this was coming. Pause. You get me? But to see him actually do it week in, week out, Key moments, big games at home, away from home. Is he the best right winger in the Premier League right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. Uh, Almiron was up there in the first half of the nah, season, he's, but he's skipped he's, off. He's very yeah, he's 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 now. Off. He ain't in that conversation. Liverpool, like, they're playing a little bit better now, but Salah ain't still having that same impact that he did last season. I don't think anyone comes close. Kulusevski, there's been the argument, but he ain't up there for being realistic. He's honourable mention at most. You can even you can even go further back than this season. He's been playing. He's been playing at that at that level that he's been playing at probably since like after the Euros kind of thing. The kid is yeah, but like last season unbelievable. it would have been Salah clear because yeah, yeah, like yeah, that period little. in the first half he was probably the best in the world, let alone in the league. This season though, it's got to be Saka. Yeah. Scott, I'm, tra- Saka, I'm trying yeah. to think of how many actual good right wingers that has been this season. Like you said, Kulaseski fell off, Almiron fell off. There isn't really too many else when you look at options. Like, even at think. City, Mares, he kind of he he, he yeah. went in the team, and then when he came in, they rotate too much. He, yeah, yeah, they rotate. Yeah, to say he's the guy and he's in banging form, even though I rate Mares highly. So yeah, it would be Saka. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Benny Blanco, there's there, there's mix. Reviews coming out on, on his performance, blood. You get me? People are saying it's, it's his fault for the first goal. People are saying he could have done better on that. I don't really agree with that, blood. You get me? So, I so I has... more Saliba. He loses his man. He's going one-on-one and he doesn't close him down quickly enough. Or you could even say Zinchenko for being dispossessed. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see where... Wait, it the, fir- the first goal or the second goal? The, the second goal is the one where... where... The second goal is the one where I can see that I can see that he has a little bit of fault because he drifts he drifts out to who was on the who was the who was the winger that then crossed it I forgot who crossed it into into the box he drifted a little bit too early but I don't know about the first one. How you feeling after that game? Feel good, man. I feel good. If I feel like it's a it's, it's one of those wins that that galvanizes that that galvanizes the the, the players. It gives it it, it reinstates a, a little belief. We we went through that blip where you know the, the Everton, Brentford, we couldn't get the dubs, and then Man City, we couldn't get the dub. But it's 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 it came at the right time because I I mean I was ready. I was ready spiraling. I was I I was thinking of the worst. I thought it was going to be another eight game eight game. Was no you stressed? Was you stressed that you was really concerned? Oh. He was stressed. Uh, bro, very. he was shitting it. Very, very. Because, I mean, I've seen this. He was I've telling man, we're not going to get top four in this thing. I'm looking at him like, brother, are you all right? Like, <laughs> Flawless. I, 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 I've seen this last season. I saw this the season before. I saw this the season before that. 
bro. Yeah. It's like muscle memory. Once I see it, once I see a loss, it's like muscle memory. I mean, it's, I it's like, all right, it's going to be two, three, four, five, five losses. I, I understand that. The top four thing is too far. You know what I'm saying? Who was going to catch you? Like, Chelsea. Bro, like, you, guys, you, guys, you, guys right. are, you guys are humming. You guys are humming. They're That's a Chelsea, you know. Come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understand, you know, having PTSD. That I understand, but the top four thing is too far. But I get the muscle memory point. That makes sense as to why you think, ah, yeah, it's going to be another five, six, seven games where Arsenal just continue to drop points. I get that point. Well, you don't got a good yeah, win. It's like we man. said before, like, you're just not used to being in this position. So you see any setback, you think, oh, here's the February, oh, March. Here we back, go again. Yeah, here we go. Yep. But, yeah, I mean, you all even turned it around against Villa. So, and now City have dropped more points. <laughs> it's like, this point, you can't even say Arsenal are title favourites. You can't even say anymore. <laughs> but no, I'm like, at that point. Been... I've given up. I've given Life up. Is... The man J5, Lewis's boy, Lewis was on his knees uh, for him not to sign that Arsenal contract. He signed it. Mm-hmm. And, and and since he's come in, he hasn't looked like an agent, bro. You get me? I, Wait, I was, is that? What? Is that him on the wall? Nah, that's... Nah, yeah, that's him. Nah, that's... Nah, that's Shirud. That's Donkey Kong. Nah, that's Donkey Kong, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> Donkey Kong blood. Uh, that pussy old blood, you get me? But... Since he's come in, he hasn't looked like an agent, blood. You get me? Like I saw a tweet from a from, from an Arsenal account saying that uh, the one person that deserves to be on this title charge is David Luiz, blood. And if I had saw that person, I would have taken their phone off them and dashed it <laughs> in a fucking river, blood. Yeah, because I believe this person does not remember what that fucking sideshow Bob looking son of a fucking you know what did to our fucking club blood. The man had like one penalty and a hundred and something Chelsea games. The man had six in 31 for <laughs> Arsenal Football Club blood. Jesus. I repeat, six in 31 <laughs> games, bro. There's only 30, <laughs> there's 38 <laughs> games in a fucking... Sub- shit. Bro, uh, he's given away more penalties than certain goals, than certain men are scoring goals, blood, in a season, bro. Six. <laughs> Who, y'all, oh, y'all, son's got yeah, five goals. Good. He's got, Son's got five goals now, blood, yeah? <laughs> My man had six penalties, 31 games, yeah? The red cards. The He's got more team. penalties than our top goal scorer in the league. Oh, wow, team is Bro, allow it, blood. Yeah? Allow it. But Jorginho, don't, he don't look like... Willian, don't even get me started on him, blood. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> don't, look at don't, the way yeah? That's yeah. the real agent. That's the real now, agent. Now, I hope now people understand the rage from me because of that man. Because now you see... What this pussy all is doing, blood, yeah? It was straight infiltrate, blood, yeah? Come and infiltrate the thing. That was, that's what it was, blood, yeah? yeah? That's what it was, bro. He was a sheep dressed in, in wolf's clothing, blood, yeah? Is he, se- is he second to Saka? Is he second to Saka? Fuck, terms of right he's a he's... pussy. That's what he is, blood. He's, he, that's what he is, blood, yeah? Well, second, he's second to no one, blood. You understand? But Jorginho is looking like the real deal, blood. You get me? Like, that... That goal, like, majority of Arsenal fans, when Martinelli got that ball, they were probably screaming at their television saying, do not pass to Jorginho, blood. You understand? At, at that moment, edge of the box, it's, it's not like, you, 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 I don't know, you're laying off an older guard. Thankfully, it was an older guard because you missed from the fucking six-yard box. Or it. or a Xhaka who's got a shot on him. Or You get me? So, someone who's capable of hitting it from there. Jorginho, you don't really see him lick off shots like that. Like, you see Rodri do it. He's not that kind of guy. You get me? So... For him, like, what's that, what that will do for him as well, you understand? Because a lot of the fans were like me. They were like, hmm, I don't know, Jorginho, PTSD from Chelsea. You get me? All the other mugs that come. Even check the fucking... <laughs> even check the helmet wearing dickhead blood. You get me? Don't oh forget that pussy, old blood. You understand? Don't forget I him, bro. You, you lot. Nah, blood that, blood. that guy cost me against you, yeah? You remember that Baku? Yeah? Oh, yeah. That, don't, don't get me started, blood. We should have fucking That's left him there, blood. Yeah. We should have oh, left him there, bro. You understand? We should have put. I, I'm not even going to say certain things because that that one. Yeah, flat, there was a man. game that he made. There was a game he made a mistake, and you called the troops beforehand. And I remember you saying he's going to give away a hand roll goal. What the fuck was that? Yes, yeah. 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 you remember that? Yeah, I remember that, that, that yeah, man. You remember that in it? <laughs> you remember? You see, he's going to let in the hand roll goal. Go. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You remember that in it? You see, bro, like it's 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 the realest, like you understand. It's, it's true, blood. <laughs> but, but Jorginho was never going to be that guy, though. Like I was telling everyone when he signed, 
I am not happy with us selling Jorginho to Arsenal. They have a better midfield than us, and that's going to suit Jorginho better because he's not plugging in holes like he's doing every single game for Chelsea. Um, for us, we have about four midfield injuries, and we're selling our only fit six. Literally to go into the next game against Fulham with an Enzo Gallagher and Mount midfield free, and I've got idiots in our fan base trying to tell me that we're better off for that. And <laughs> we haven't controlled a single midfield since then, by the way. We didn't control the midfield against Fulham. We didn't control the midfield against West Ham. We got doggied in transition by Dortmund. Southampton's midfield were running rings around us. 37% pos uh, possession in the first half at home to Southampton. But hey, our midfield is so much better with Jorginho out of the side now. I'm so glad we're not getting done in transition an anymore. I'm so glad we're controlling the midfield now. I'm so glad we are progressing as a football club now that we sold one of our only available midfielders. Do you know the injury-prone midfielders that we have? Ruben, Kante, Kovacic. Jorginho was the only guy who was fit. That's another thing you'll realise as well. Jorginho never gets injured rarely gets injured. If you check his injury record, it's, it's like two and or three in his entire career. He has spent like season after season being overplayed, being forced to plug in gaps because of injuries all around him. And then he's got the blame from our fan base. That's why when you guys signed him, any questions, I understand it because we made him out to be a bum. This guy is the only DM to win the fucking UEFA player of the year, you know? They talked about N'Golo Kante in the Champions League run and he was unbelievable. But Jorginho is the one who got the most tackles and interceptions in that tournament. Two things that N'Golo Kante thrives in because they both helped each other. Everyone spent the last five years just slagging off Jorginho, acting like he's crap. At the very least, I'm glad he's getting love at Arsenal. I'm glad he's finally getting given the respect that he deserves because it's been well overdue. It's just we had to sell him to you guys to do it. That's what pisses me off. That's what pisses me off the most. But the amount of fucking times that you've done us, years. blood. The amount of times you've done us dirty, blood. It's about time we get a fucking one over on you, mug. You get me? It's the consolation. I get. I get. He's, like, like, like Lewis, what Lewis is saying is true because even like our possession stats have increased since he's come in the team. Yeah, if good, you look at the three yeah. games before he came in and look at the three games that he's that since he's come into the team, <clears> the Everton game, the Brentford game, and now the Villa game, our possession has increased. Yeah, because that's because he's a possession. It's also cohesive too. Like, Jorginho yeah. has his deficiencies. We all know that. Yeah, he can't they move the shit. The amount of times that like, he <laughs> cannot turn, bro. He cannot. He remember Cr he remember Crouch's fucking robot. celebration when he was doing the, the whole... The robot yeah, thing. that's Jorginho, blood. Like, he's there, like, trying to spin the thing, but it's just like... <laughs> There's just, you understand, like, <laughs> WD-40 bare things are not helping, blood. Like, you, know, you can have... Yeah, if you've got a good enough midfield, you can accommodate for that. And that's yeah. why I was like, why are we selling him to a team with a better midfield that simply needs midfield depth? Yeah, that's why I didn't that understand. That makes no sense. Yeah, I didn't understand Chelsea fans wanting him to leave, considering you said your midfield three was Enzo, Mount and Gallagher. That's just horrific in itself. Not we only are pushing and then you get Enzo into the six yeah, when he's an eight now. Yeah, so I play next to Gallagher. And now they're saying, oh, he's been dribbled past 10 times. Yeah. He's not a six. Yeah, he's been dribbled past 10 times in four games. But if that was Jorginho, he would have a lot to say about that. That's the crazy part. Exactly. If that was Jorginho in the past. I didn't understand him wanting to sell into Arsenal because he, improve, he improves their squad. He's better than what they have. And you see Arsenal fans here talking about him and talking about how good he is. I didn't when Flawless it. says that, it, that is it, true bro, as well. He's not better than the league league. title. Yeah, he's not better than Partey or like them, man, but he's better than like he's El better Nenny. than El Nenny. Better yeah, than that's Lombardi. what I was getting at. He, I was is, like, better. Like, he, he is, is better. Yeah. This is squad. what I was mm. telling us. Uh, this is what I was telling Arsenal fans. I'm like, he improves your squad. Is he ideal? You man yeah. went in for Casado, didn't get him, but it's about improving your squad and trying to go for the league. That's mm -hmm. your plan. Jorginho's better than what you have. That's why I didn't want Chelsea to sell him to you. Lot. I'm like, why would you do that and help them at this moment? Mm. Like? I had a better head loss, like. I wasn't like Zar. Like Zar was like, "Oh, top four's on the line." Da, 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 da. I was like fuming at like after the the Everton, uh, Brentford, and then the City loss. I was mm. fuming at the window, saying that we missed out on Jao Felix. I wasn't yeah, really yeah. giving a shit about the Mudrick thing. I never knew about Mudrick. I know yeah. Felix, and when we were linked, Zar will tell you I was like, Go "Pause." <laughs> <laughs> you get me? I, I was thirsty, bro. Yeah, I was feed me, pause. Yeah, I'm here for that, blood. You understand? I'm here for that, blood. And you see what he's doing at Chelsea. You get me? In that piss poor mm. side. Imagine what he would be doing in this Arsenal side. You understand what I'm mm. saying? So I I lost my head on that side. I never lost my head on the players. 
I never lost. I, lost, I never lost my head on top four. I lost my head on. All right, we're not going to win the title now. We're going to lose the title race. We're going to drop to second or third, but we're going to be in the top four. But I'm not going to get what I want. When I've seen the way that Jorginho is covering Partey, I'm kind of like, you know what? Yeah, this might not be a bad signing, blood. Yeah, you understand? He's a, he's because he didn't do. He's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, Maybe. the amount of interceptions that he made, yeah, and yeah. stop and yeah. stop break. I was like, yo, Jorginho again. It's, it's Jorginho, crazy. Rah, I'm Jorginho again. Like, it's just when I, his when pace. I rewatch the game, it's crazy. Same with Brentford. I was at the Brentford game and I was like, yo, you know what? Like, there's you could see he's that like, he could play the ball, blood. Mm. He's good on I've the ball. I've been saying bro. this for years and no one has listened, and now it's working. It's that fucking Arsenal. I hate this. Sport, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you like aided him, you know, like we needed that. You know, aided we, I said it when we sold them. We handed Arsenal the league title because all they needed was depth, and we gave it, and we gave them quality depth too. Everyone's acting like Jorginho's washed. I wanted Jorginho to stay as rotation, literally the role that Arsenal have him in right now. Yeah, you did, and you are in a better position. You have a better squad. I was not going to work. And you've got idiots in our fan base celebrating this shit. Hope you lot enjoy our midfield now. Hope you lot enjoy it. Because an Enzo Jorginho pivot would have been levels better than the shit that I see every week. So but not hey, fan, what do I know? Not a fan of the Enzo Gallagher mounting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> two ro- two roadrunners and poor Enzo being asked to hold both of their hands and make it work. Yeah, and then crazy. he's the one that gets slandered. I'm seeing fucking Enzonzi in the in the timeline <laughs> and all this stuff. <laughs> that, that guy still plays. That guy still plays. He still plays football. <laughs> no, no, they're calling him Enzonzi. <laughs> no, they're calling him oh, Enzonzi. You know that's a that's a terrific slander name. Trust me, he's pissed, bro. You understand? And it's not even his fault. Like technically, that guy's still good. He's still one of our best players. Just he's surrounded by shite. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. You sell one of your best midfielders to Arsenal. Well done, Chelsea. Well done. Zio, I remember we, that. Also, we also have depth on the left-hand side now, Zabla. Do you mm-hmm. understand? Martinelli comes off the bench. Yeah. Uh, it, it hurt me to see him yeah. dropped. But you know, Arteta did what he did. He came on, assist, goal. You understand? He ran to the crowd and he, was, he grabbed the badge and he said, this is this Arsenal. This is Arsenal, yeah. So that's like, like, this kid bleeds for this club, blood. Yeah, he he will die on that pitch, blood. Yeah, he is every fan on that pitch, bro. You understand? And I think that goal is is gonna bring the confidence back, blood. You get me, Fabio Vieira as well. People are calling for him to come in for Xhaka. I don't know about that because Xhaka's kind of dropped that, off a cliff, bro. blood. And Xhaka. Jack- the thing about midfield, the thing about midfield is... is Oh, Smith Rowe. I'm seeing calls for Smith Rowe as well because people are looking back on... It was a sh- it was a terrible fucking game to look back on, but he actually did pretty good. The first game of the season, last season, Brentford, when he played in that midfield role. And yeah. he, 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 <clears throat> he's got that Grealish about him where he can have the ball and drive with it. You understand? And, and when he gets running, you can't really stop him, bro. You understand? Maybe that could be another... We could use Smith Rowe in, in that position. You understand? And then have like, take out Xhaka for a Smith Rowe maybe because he'll bring, I think he will liven up the left-hand side as well because the left-hand side is dead right now. You understand? Even with Trussard in, Zinchenko still not going down the left blood. So it's it's not a, it's not a, oh, it's a Martinelli thing. It's, it's not Wait, is that not a system thing from Arteta with, though? Don't you put that more on with, him to both of you, look like, with Zinchenko? Yeah, in because there, I'm because I'm saying I'm yeah. saying play Tierney. You understand? And then okay. people are saying I see I see the goal, the reaction of the Martinelli goal from behind, like from the Villa mm-hmm. side, mm-hmm. and then like Tierney's run up to um, Fabio Vieira, hugged him, mm-hmm. and then like Vieira's like run off to like everyone's going to support, like going, going to um, celebrate mm-hmm. with yeah, the supporters, yeah, yeah. and then Tierney was just kind of like on the halfway line, like slowly walking over. So people are looking into that. I'm not looking into that, you get me? Because enough man move different at, at, at points of the game. You understand? Er, er, like, not the whole team ran over there. Like, Ramzo never left his goal. You get me? <laughs> A man going to start saying, oh, Ramzo never come over and celebrated blood. Do, 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 do. Like, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, he might have been like, tired, man. He might have been catching a breather. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what happened. Like, well, you might know on, people like the game, but yeah, like, that's way, you can't look into things like that. That's mm-hmm. way over the top. On on the Xhaka thing, I'm not I'm not comfortable with tinkering with taking Xhaka out as long as Partey's out. If Partey if Partey's back in that midfield, so you'd only tinker the midfield if if Partey's in there. Then you'd yeah, think about I, moving I, her. I don't 
I don't feel comfortable putting in Fabio Vieira, putting in Fabio Vieira in that eight without Thomas Partey being in the, being in that midfield. I'm kind of with you still. I wouldn't move Jacker out yet. Yeah. yeah. It's th that's the thing. Central midfield is all about it's, it's yeah, all complementary. Yeah, yeah. You play off each other and stuff like that. Messing around, messing around with that kind of stuff is is, is risky. Yeah, you want continuity in the midfield, which makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Considering they're the two you've gone with is Xhaka and Pai, so with one out, why are you going to move the other one even though he isn't yeah. bang at it in terms of form? No, that makes sense. And Rav Jorginho next to Smith Rowe or Fabio Vieira. No, that makes sense. I fully and hear Smith that. Rose, and Smith Rowe's just coming into the side as well, back off injury blood. And he ain't really played there yeah, a lot match, as match, well. Match fitness. He ain't really played there a lot as well, blood. You get me? He played more on, on, <clears throat> on the left, blood. You understand? So... How far? How far along is he? Because I mean, we he was keep on the bench. hearing that he's he's he's. Has he was he, on the has bench. He for the under, has he played for the under twenty one? He was he was on the bench against flipping Villa. Has he played? You know if he's played for the under twenty ones? I don't know, but he was on the bench against Villa. So that means he's ready, blood. If he was if he's, if he's in the match squad, like he's definitely been training. How, he's been training of some sort. Yeah, blood. How, yeah. how how more ready can he be, fam? You get me. But a joyous weekend for Gunas, blood. Let's go to flawless first blood. You understand? Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep the depression as far away. Yo, Lewis, cheer up, fam, man. I hate to see you like this, man. Cheer he up. just looks miserable. No, I like to see him like that, blood. What do you mean? I'm enjoying bro, it, bro. Away, I'm man, enjoying so it, blood. No, bro. I'm enjoying the Chelsea misery. It's great in it, but like his miserable face. Look at him, man. <laughs> It's been it's been like this for the last six yeah, months, bro. Yo, it has been. Every day we stream, but I see you as you're just not happy, bro. Yeah, it's just you don't even want to stream. You don't. Want to. I oh, know. Man. The streams are for therapeutic reasons. Simple as. Yeah, man. We here to help, Get man. We here to help, man. Get it off your chest. This is a safe space, family. So what's safe, the this is a safe space. <laughs> this is a safe space. Cloud, where you get cloud. It's a safe space where you get cloud. Cloud, bro. Man United free, Leicester yeah. nil. Flawless. You. You're cooking, bro. I can't lie. You, you are cooking, blood. You get me, Eric Ten Hag. He, he, he he's on his. He's on his he's on his breaking bad. He's on his Heisenberg. Ten he Heisenberg is, shower rents. Blood! He is cooking. You understand? And everything he's doing is working right now, blood. Yes. And that's the crazy part because he's cooking and this ain't his ingredients. This ain't his ingredients. This ain't his kitchen. That's not his seasoning. That ain't his big Dutch pot. But yeah, shout out to everyone knows about Dutch pot. But yet he's still managing to get results. We went away to Barcelona. And he had Veghorst in the 10. We played Fred Sabitzer, Veghorst, got a draw, should have won the game. The fact that that yeah. tie is not over, I'm really irritated about. I was confident going into the Barcelona game. I don't know you asked me about the Leicester game, but the Barcelona game, I said, as long as we avoid defeat in that Barcelona tie, we'll be okay. Yes, they had more possession and dominated in terms of territory. They're going to have that at but, home yeah, as well. Yeah, at home. But I wanted Definitely. that because I said, stylistically, how we match up against Barcelona, I like. Because we're a team who are better without the ball. And we can hit you on the counter-attack and hit you in transition. And even though we scored two goals, we still created so many chances. I'd say Rashford had a couple of chances. Casemiro had a header from six years uh, six yards out he missed. Veghorst missed the one-on-one. -on -one. Sancho missed a good chance. And then even the two goals they scored, we gifted them. It's not like they caught us open. You know what I'm saying? One was a mm. corner that where Alon, it was either Fred or Malassi, I can't remember. Yeah, lost his Fred name. was just doing yeah. his older guard Fred, against Everton. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fred lost Alonso and then the other one is, is Varane and Casemiro because Va Varane's mm. rushed to pass into Shaw. Shaw's then mm. had to rush into Casemiro. Casemiro's give it away. But overall, I expect us to get past them. In terms of Leicester, for the first first half, we weren't good, specifically the first 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, because they could have had a couple yeah. goals. Like De Gea yeah. made some, De Gea, De Gea made save. a Gordon Banks-esque save, yes. that header one. That was pussy Clark. That yeah. was mad. Ridiculous. The Harvey Ridiculous. Barnes one before. Yeah. The Harvey Barnes one on one, the Ian Nacho header where when Ian Nacho goes to head it, I'm like, yeah, this yeah, is that was, yeah. I thought that was it. Here we go, yeah. one nil. Man, yeah. like, turn it to Gordon Banks, 1970, yeah. blood. And I'm like, yo, man, save that. So salute to De Gea for that. And like I said, if we were two, three nil down, at that point yeah. in the first half, I would have had no complaints. Yeah, they were the better side. And I was fearful yeah. of that game because Leicester had been a good form. Do you think if you had gone behind, that would have, do you think you would have been able to come back? 
Because um, Leicester have been on good form, like. No, the momentum was with them. When the, the momentum's with the opposition, you have to see that out. On my watch along, when I'm watching it, I'm like, we are under the cosh here. The momentum's with Leicester. See this mm. out. And the fact that Harvey Barnes missed the one-on-one, even though it was a very good save from the Hale, the Ian Nacho header, they had a couple of other um, decent half chances as well. I'm like, let's just see this out. And then even somehow, that suitor's header. Yeah, exactly. This is my point. So mm. many half chances mm. and, and good chances they had where you got, right, maybe they should have done better or the Hale's pulled out a worldie or he's pulled out a decent save. And yeah, if we would have went 1-0 down, the moment their tails would have been up because they were in good form. They'd scored mm-hmm. eight goals in their past two. They put four mm-hmm. past Spurs. They put four past Villa. And I was saying this, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously me and uh, Lewis O'Neill, who's a Leicester fan, and they've been awful all season. And just as they're about to play us, they hit good form. And I was like, for fuck's sake, they're going to come to OT and they have offensive players who can hurt you. But somehow we managed against the runner play, um, scored the goal, you know what I'm saying? Went in at 1-0. Ten Hag switched it up. The change is substitutions is ridiculous the way it works. Whether it's in the 45th minute, whether it's sometime in the second half. Took off um, Ganacho, played Sancho in the turn. And in the second half, we were a different team on smoke. And the fact it was only 3-0, Leicester were lucky because we created so many, so many chances. And I've said when Sancho came back, I wanted to see him in the 10 row. Because I think he has all the attributes, especially when you're dominating possession, to do well in the 10 row. And he's shown that. So now I'm just looking at the Barcelona game, obviously the second leg and the Carabao Cup final. Because we got a big week ahead, massive week ahead. So it's key. But yeah, Ten Hag's cooking. Um, no complaints and whoever's playing because of his system whoever's playing is just doing bits and I have zero complaints right now zero I asked the man them is Saka the best right winger in the league is Rashford the best left winger in the league because what he's doing week in week out (laughs) it's a madness blood he scored the most goals out of any player in Europe since the World Cup he's got he's added headers to his game yeah like He's doing absolute mad. Like when he went through yesterday, I was like, that's it, 1 0. Leicester fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I knew yeah, it was yeah. a goal, blood. Like that's Rashford right. is just like, I rated Rashford when he first came through and then he kind of yeah. fell off. And then I started calling him Trashford. Mm. But I, I always like kind of rated Rashford because I was like, yo, I remember what he done to us in his fucking first Premier League game. Yeah, yeah, and what yeah. he did that season when he went Etihad <laughs> as well and Smoke yes. City. And I rem- yeah. he was on crud. You retired understand, like, Kalis, yeah, I remember. You know what I'm saying, yeah, remember, blood. Like, retired Dima so, Kalis, he did. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was like, yo, and then he, fe- but now he's like Ten Hag. Like, is it Ten Hag or is it Benny McCarthy? Because I'm seeing Benny McCarthy getting a lot of love as well. Like, he's getting a lot he of praise. Yeah. Benny McCarthy, yeah, because he's your new striking coach. Yeah, he's the new striking coach. coach. So it's like, yeah, does is it on Benny? McC- it's a mixture of all those things. Is it on Benny McCarthy? Yes. Is it also on Ten Hag? Yes. Also adding into that fact, Rashford is playing and he's 100 percent fit. He's not doing this Ollie thing where he's playing in, he's playing um, injury. On top of that as well, Rashford is confident and you're seeing that. Because even really and truly, he looks for Ganacho and then he sees Ganacho's kind of not on in for the first goal and he yeah, smashes like, it and it goes in. It, yeah. And he's, he's, he's at that point where it's an inevitable, like when he plays that, he scores. Like I'm expecting him, like it's like, if he don't score, it's more of a shock than if he scores. And not only is he getting goals and assists, his overall game, he's having impact as well. It's not one of them. He's not doing a thing where a man will get a couple of goals, but he's trashed the rest of the game. No, he's having an impact. And he's switching positions as well. So whether he's playing wide left and he's scoring goals, then he might go to the nine. And you mentioned it. Aerially, this guy's scoring goals. And that's something he wasn't known for. And then he'll get and he'll get all types of different goals as well, which is what I like. Whether it's a scrappy one or whether it's an absolute banger. Like the goal he scored against you, look, banger. But then he'll score mm. a scrappy goal as well. But also, i got to give Ten Hag credit because the system is working. <laughs> And that's why we're seeing improvements from him and we're seeing improvements from everyone. I didn't expect to see this Rashford. After last season, after it looked like he wanted to leave, I was like, if he don't want to be here, sell him. And that's always my thought process. Any player who doesn't want to be at Manchester United, whether they're right or wrong, because I would understand previously why you wouldn't want to be there. If you don't want to be here, leave. And I was an advocate for that. But this form has surprised me. But again, as a Manchester United fan, I want to be wrong on these players when I criticise them. So hopefully Rashford's form can continue and he's in our quest for trophies. Because we're in the free, I'm looking at the three cups and going, we can win all these three cups. Carabao Cup against Newcastle, yes, they're a good side defensively and they can hurt you offensively. But now um Pope's out because obviously you got the red card against Liverpool. Yeah. Um Dubravka can't play, so it's Carrius in goal. So I'm like, all right, that works for us. You know what I'm saying? Carrius being goal, their goals have kind of dried up. We're favourites for that. Barcelona at home, it's a straight shootout. 
like the first time, the, the first yeah, there's no away goals as well. No so it's literally goals. a straight, it's literally, it's literally a shooter. straight where we've been mm. great at home. So mm. we can't knock out Barcelona. That's on the players, that's on Ten Hag and I'll criticize. So I'm looking at it going Europa League, there's no one in the Eula are in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else is there? That's pretty much it. Who I look at, it's only Arsenal. I don't know how serious you lot will take it, how, how serious Arteta will take it if you don't play us because you lot are chasing the league. So I look at the Europa League and go, that's there for the taking. And people are saying we should we should um, prioritize that. Why are we prioritizing top four over a European trophy? Bear well, mind, Rashford we came out and said yes. that. Well, Rashford came mm. out and said that your team's there and that you are in the title race. But I haven't heard you mention the yeah. Premier League. I've heard you mention the cups. The cups. I mentioned the cups. Be- yeah, because what it is with the Premier League, my eye, this is how I clear it up. Mathematically, so you don't think I'm- you're in the race because you're only like what? 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 You're two point behind City now. I think it's. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Double check. Let me table. check, blood. Yeah, yeah three, check. three, 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 three. You're three behind three City. Yeah. yeah. From a mathematical standpoint, are we five, in a title five race? Behind yes. us. Yeah. Mathematically, are we in a title race? Yes, because we're this close to the top of the table. But do I believe we're in the race? At, um, do I believe we can genuinely win the league title? No. Look at the team. You know what I'm saying? Ten Hag's working miracles. I've said this before. I'll say this again. Look at our team. We went to, the to a point as well. To, to Fred and Veghorst. And that's how I'm looking at it. Like, we're 24 games in now. If we win our next, if by 30 games, we've won our six games, then I'll say, all right, we can legitimately win. I want to be wrong on this again. I just don't genuinely believe this side is good enough to win a league title. That's what it is. Adding in all the games. Adding in everybody is currently playing at their highest level or overachieving. That's not sustainable for a yeah. league title. It's yeah. not. And yeah, Rashford, who we spoke on, is great scoring goals. There is a lack of goals. We but he's the only really one scoring. who's scoring That's for my you. point. If like us, we it, share yeah. it out. We got Saka, Martinelli. We got um, Odegaard. Odegaard in Ketty and chipped in. Yes. Jesus was banging. You got Gabriel. Yeah. Saliba can That's... get goals. Yeah, and so Jekyll just scored. Yeah, and Shaka, 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 Shaka's banging well. them party. We literally have, like, my yeah, we're spreading and the ball. This around. is exactly why I've not been here. You know, kind of like when we had a Bamiyang, where it's just like you have your goal scorer. If he don't score, it can go left. Well, and I understand, and and that's what it is. It's kind of like. At the offence, I've been saying. So, man, have a bad man, but they won't play them. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. We'll, we'll talk about squad. that soon. <laughs> we will talk about that soon. And I've been saying this: the offence is our attack is the worst part of our team. And yes, Rashford is scoring the goals, but outside of him, there isn't too many goal scorers outside of that. Like Bruno's not got a lot of goals. Anthony's currently injured, which is now a concern that he's not always there. Veghorst is good, you know what I'm saying, but not a prolific goal scorer. Canacho's 18. He's a white Lacazette. Uh, Martial's injured, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, a, white, he's a white Lacazette. <laughs> he's he's amazing Lacazette. around the box. Yeah. But when you give I, him, like, it, it gets techie, bro. It. Like, you have to send the man to France <laughs> and then he turn gun, man. You see me? Yeah, you're big, like, I'm like Lacazette. Yeah, but the thing is with Veghorst, he's a 4 million loan signing. So when people get yeah, onto yeah. him, I'm like, what did you expect? Veghorst is yeah, delivering yeah. more than I expected. You know what I'm saying? Because people are like, why are you glad we got Veghorst? I'm like, have you seen our team? Our backup striker if Veghorst is not there is Anthony Alanga. That should never happen at Manchester United Football Club in any way, shape or form should Anthony Alanga. Martial can't stay fit. So it's like we're down to the bare bones in terms of offense. It's true, you know, because when you check the level, yeah, there was a point when it was like Ronaldo, Tevez, Rooney, Berbatov, then Welbeck. Then Welbeck. 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 That's where Alanga should be. Like, yes, He should (laughs) be the backup. If yeah, we're, yeah. But because we're not where we're supposed to be in terms mm-hmm. of quality of the team because of past regimes, I take that into consideration. Just because Ten Hag is working miracles, which he is, I still look at it and go, right, what was my expectations at the start of the season? I was talking we're going to finish fifth or sixth, give me a Carabao Cup. And I would have been over the moon with that. But now I'm here yeah, talking I, about... I said for Arsenal, fifth yeah. and Europa League. See, and this is what I was talking I was like, go target the Europa League. But I was like, then I, went, the then I was like, top four... Mm. Now I'm like, yo, win the black lot, Lee. Win the black lot. Win the black lot, Lee. My things change, blood. <laughs> Man, if just changed through the season, but I swear it out. But that's what it is. It's my weird. dumb ass, my dumb dumb ass wanted a league title from the get-go. <laughs> you were smart, man. You fucking saw it. I did not. <laughs> you called it. I did not see Arsenal where they're at. So you have to yeah, give I credit to our that. time on the team. Same way I didn't come see where United are, right? If someone would have yes. said, now my question is, in February, now I'm like, all right, how successful is our season going to be? I've already said, I think we win at least two trophies. So you'd at be happy with minutes. top four and a trophy? Yeah, Any absolutely. trophy. Any trophy because we not won one. People are like, oh, how can you think like that? Because we haven't won one in six years. 
You can't Neymar Manchester United win the league title. Yeah. Six years. Camel you settings, blood, title. It's peak. It's terrible. You know what I'm saying in that? So I'm like, yo, bring me the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, or the Europa League. Top four, mm. there's no trophy for. I've never celebrated top four. I will never celebrate top four. Mm-hmm. So what, scrape it on the last mm-hmm. day and be... I want to wing her out for that, blood. So I'm, yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, forget all that. So all in all, please, hopefully, like I say, big week coming up, like I said. Go get past Barcelona. Go win the Carabao Cup. The FA Cup, there's a load of teams are out. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Arsenal are out, Chelsea are out, um, Newcastle are out. Chelsea are everything. Chelsea are pride, man. Champions League is a false story. We're getting out. out. Actually. So, yeah, man, them cup competitions have opened up. So, I'm like, all right, let's go and see what we can pick up and go win. So, looking forward to the season. And if we win our next six and 30 games in and we're this close to the top of the league or closer, that's when I say, all right, we can do some. We can definitely, you know, sneak in and try and pick up this league. But I don't see it happening. Chelsea nil, Southampton one. Lewis, mm-hmm. what is going on at Stamford Bridge? You've got one win in 2023, five defeats in 2023. We are in February and you have lost five games. You have only won one game. Ellen Haaland has more goals than your whole squad combined. You spent 600 million. <laughs> Yeah, you spent 300 bits. million in the in the recent window. You sold Jorginho. You lose it to <laughs> bottom of the league, managerless Southampton. Their manager was sacked for having a better run of form than Graham Potter, but he mm-hmm. still stands on the touchline. Johnny Minerals <laughs> has got Reese James looking at him in a way that I don't even know. Is he looking at him like, is that Mace's guy? This guy's right. Why is he saying that? I don't know what's going like. Lewis, <laughs> let the people know what the fuck is going on. First off, before I go, my connection's all good, right? Yeah, you're yeah. good, blood. Cool, cool, cool. Because cool. I see, I got a lot I need no, you're to get off mute my chest this one. Yeah, I'm on mute. Now yeah, you went yeah. on mute, blood. Oh, no. Oh, now you're good. Oh, okay, no, now you're back. Connection, you cleared up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah there, now right, you're back. There we go. Right. So, with Chelsea, first off, Big must-win game against Southampton and our manager decides I'm going to go and rest two of our most important players because it's not like we haven't won two out of our last 15. We're going to go and rest our best players and suddenly our defence has no control as a result. The Jorginho situation, like I said, we haven't controlled our midfield ever since that. Um, ever since we sold Is Jorginho. Is this connection bugging out for you, man, as well? Or is it yeah. just me? Yeah, but it, it, yeah. it'll save. It saves internally. Oh, see, see, see. It saves in turn. Yeah, right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. go, right. yeah, go, Lewis Black. So, so big <laughs> must win game this for, <laughs> for Graham Potter. Can't be asked, bro. Can't be asked. I'd say go, Black. <laughs> this is way it's a load of shit this season, man. It's a load of crap. But here's the thing: I didn't even think we we're gonna win this one. But I didn't expect Potter to make as many mistakes as he did. I said this game was going to be big for me in terms of the faith that I'm going to give the manager. He benched Silva, he benched Reese James, he started Mason Mount at left wing. He started Mason Mount on the fucking wing. Mason when has Mason wing, Mount you know. ever been good on the that wing? And then the worst job. part is after that, right? <laughs> the the only the part that is going in and out on. <laughs> our only good attacker got taken off so we could put Mount up front. We yeah, why did he take off for father? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to play, it's the Mace, to play Mason years, Mount false nine, man. That's why. Fucking strong number nine. And then we take him out to put Mount up front. Yeah, man. Man played Mount false nine. Which yeah. bit <laughs> Mount <laughs> false nine? <laughs> make that one make sense to me because I'm trying to have some understanding of the manager and he's making clueless oh, decisions man. like this. I'm trying to defend the manager and he's going and putting Mason Mount left wing and up front. Where's he going? <laughs> Same old shit every single week. Like Southampton, they it wasn't even just a one nil game. They dominated us. Like I said, thirty eight percent possession in the first half. We were lucky that we only conceded off the free kick because it, we could have conceded through numerous other passages of play. The whole defense was shaky, giving away the ball left, right, and centre. Kovacic had a stinker. Felix was invisible. Fafana didn't get given enough service and then got taken off. We made a little bit more Woodrick. chance in the second half. But this is the thing with Chelsea. 005. <laughs> yeah. 005. We're nearly on 007, blood. 
Yeah, yeah, he's getting close. And like Mutra, he needs to pattern up as well. He's not been good enough the last few games. <laughs> it's yeah, just the story of our up. attack. <laughs> it's the story of our entire attack, bro. Like either we don't create enough or we don't finish enough. We'll, we'll never find the happy medium. We'll never actually take wow. our chance. The ball go everywhere <laughs> except the back. Let, let him go. But this is why Potter, like, I'll blame Potter, but I blame the squad too. Because the squad's also culpable as to where we are. Fulham, we made enough chances to win. Liverpool, that, that team's shit. We should be beating Liverpool at the very least. Fucking West Ham should be beating them. Dortmund, we made enough chances to win that game. Our yeah, attack but is Dortmund, just fucking hell. Part. The amount of times Felix missed a chance, blood. Yep. Yeah, this is why, like, I'm, I'm blaming Potter now because, like, he is as culpable as the rest of the squad. But the squad is still just. What about as big Bowie? As Does he take blame? Who's who 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 whose players are they? Bowley, like, he's the last person I'm blaming. I think a lot of people are misjudging where their anger should be if they're blaming. So are these Bowley. Potter signings? No, this is the these are signings from um the new board and the new infrastructure that Todd Bowley's made. And it's good scouting. I rate the players that we brought in. They aren't my problem. My problem is the players that are still here and the managerial and the decisions that are being made by the manager. Those are my biggest issues. Bowley's the last person I'm going for. I think everything he's done, except Potter, I've backed. And even Potter I was backing up until now. So I think if anyone's blaming the owner, like I, I don't get I don't get He's the last person I'd look at over anything. So you're Potter out now, yeah? <laughs> if we could get rid of him, if we could, but I don't think we will. So it's like, I can't back Potter anymore, but like, I'm not going to run this Potter out narrative when he's not going to go. They're going to keep him till the end of the season. I, was, I just don't have any faith in this guy anymore. Yeah, I was going to ask you that about old Lewis, even though you've... The board have stated that they're going to back Potter regardless. Yeah, they've like, said that they're going to give him years more than him. months but, and weeks. But, sh but surely this form can't continue. He this can't is go sackable form, blood. Like, 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 this is worse, one win, and our, this is worse than win. when like Arteta was going through the mad thing in COVID. This yeah. is worse. Yeah. Yeah, because, of the, because of the level of player we had and the level of player that you have right now, this is embarrassing now. Like, like you can't go two in your next the thing, like, we've only just win. signed him to a five. <laughs> we've only just signed him to a five or six year deal. They're not sacking him a matter of months into it. The payout's too big. He's gonna be it's here till the end of this there, season. Blood. He might be here for the start of next season. I think that's when he's gonna get judged a lot more harshly by Bowley and the board. And if it's still the same man. old crap, I think they make a decision then. But you as of this season, I'm on vibes because the manager's <laughs> shit. <laughs> the <laughs> he's on vibes. <laughs> you got to be on vibes, and then you're gonna be on vibes next season too. You got to mm -hmm. pull the plug. <laughs> I told you, bro. Every time I've been on here, I've said forty points. Give me my 40, 40 points, points he said. and signing out, I don't care. You know that. that. He's just clapping. And, and he's I don't just even like, know how we get to 40 I'm telling points. you, bro, he's Mufasa. And Scar's <laughs> just there on 39 points. Like, you will not reach 40 points. <laughs> bro, Flawless, me and Flawless went through the fixtures as well. You I don't know where we are. Yeah, do do you even get to 40, blood? Nah, they don't, man. They get probably like... <laughs> I don't know, bro. They, they probably get like 35. We they probably don't see bro, where we get. Nine we points. Nine points. You can't get nine points. Bottom of the table. Nine points. Nine points. Bro. When, we went, when we went through that fixture list for the rest of the season, it was like, we, I think Lewis predicted like three wins. You know what I'm saying? In their next, like, their next however many games left. Jesus Christ. About three wins. If we're so lucky. There's your, there's your nine Aston points. Aston Villa, yeah. that could still be a difficult game. Unai Emery, if he parks the bus, will be lucky to get a draw. Yeah, it could be. So I don't even know. This guy. We've let bottom of the table nah, Southampton yeah. do the double over our heads. Yeah, that's South embarrassing. Hustle. Yeah, you better that's give Southampton, what is it, like 40% of their points? Like, they got 18 points and six of them are from you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. That's that it, is bro. wild. <laughs> 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 no, that's fucking mad. That's I look that loop. Bro, that's bad. That's fucked. Bro. Do you Jesus see why I'm on vibes, Christ. my friend? Do you see why I'm not Yo, Six out of eight Yo, points. that's Six about eighteen, 18 yeah, man. Yeah, you do the math, please. They actually got eighteen <laughs> points. Yeah, Three like percent of Southampton's <laughs> points have come from Chelsea. Chelsea that's yeah. crazy. Oh my days! Thirty-three percent of their points. This ain't Chelsea, bro. <laughs> 
This is Fulham Broadway FC. It's this crazy. Is Fulham Broadway yo. FC. Are we were saying this because you might Chelsea. you might have scored twenty three goals in twenty three games. How many goals do you found? Do you reckon you might get to thirty five goals? Twenty three conceded twenty three in twenty three games. Real talk. Do you man score twelve goals? Can you man score another ten goals and get to thirty three? If we get a couple penalties, maybe. <laughs> but Jorginho's gone. That's <laughs> but Jorginho's gone, though. <laughs> yeah, it'll have to be, oh, it'll be Havertz, won't it? You won't even fucking get that. Oh, that's so long, bro. Yo, I don't know. I don't know where our points... You know we got Tottenham <laughs> away next. He's about to finish on... He's about to finish on 35 points, blood. <laughs> <laughs> you might, I, I don't know where oh, we get, don't from. get to I don't know points, who we dominate points, we dominate anyone we dominate them for 30 minutes and then we disappear whatever happens as soon as the game progresses we get worse or if we get better we don't score because we can't create when we do create we can't finish take-ons we're barely doing that getting doggied in transition making mistakes at the back Potter's in-game management is fucking horrendous it's a mess it's a mess. We're a hot He's mess. Stressed. <laughs> but hey, we're spending six hundred million in the summer, so it's all good. It's all good. <sighs> Everything will be okay. Just throw money at it. <laughs> throw more that, money. That, that's at your the only problem. hope, blood. man can throw money at everything but a win, blood, and a goal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? Oh, oh, rich man problems, that's blood. I swear, so down. It's Chelsea. peak for them, blood. But, but, but yo, Lewis, man, you still got, you still got, you only one nil down to Dortmund in the Champions League. And yeah, you still got a chance in the yeah, Champions man. League. Yeah, we've got Bridge. to score two to come back. Ha! <laughs> 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 I love, I love. Two, two goals in a game. Can we get one first? Can we get one? Good two goals. Oh my god! You mean, let's let's do one, and then maybe we get an own goal or something. Maybe one of them. Maybe OG Jao Felix and our own goal, man. I like. Yo, Jao own and goal, Enzo. You know penalty. I don't know, deflection, some judge. Maybe the ball can bounce off the goalkeeper's head in our game or something. I don't know. I don't even know if Enzo will turn I don't even know if Enzo will turn up after the way he got run down, blood. You get me? Yeah, but I don't know. If I was Enzo, I wouldn't. You told me we were gonna have a competent midfield. Now he's playing with Mountain Gallagher every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, which, which one is more hideous? Oh my days! Yo, oh Mountain Gallagher, Oi. yo. <laughs> Right, that Mount contract Gallagher. situation ain't being sorted either. Let that run till it the summer. That time. brother's gone. That guy is gone. The sooner the better the way he's playing. <laughs> yeah, car bear man are circling around him. Why? I don't know, blood. You get me, car. I don't Bunny know, Mount, but you don't need to that. circle. Take, take him, take him. Whoever wants to take him. Liverpool want him. The way United, United, United. we're looking. City. United wants him. Yeah, yeah. We, we got linked with him. That's some Bandulu link. You know what I'm saying? That's the old. He's in contract negotiations. United get linked I, with him. If everyone. you lot want him, my friend. Now nah, we yours. good, man. No, no, no. We now we. We good. One road runner, get the next one free. Fuck no. it. <laughs> 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 I won't get one free, bro. Get the next one free. That's moving like Poundland, just giving out free teams. Yeah, facts. We're good, yo. You know what I'm saying? By calling him Conor Gallagher and all that. One, it's wild. Take <laughs> them like them Coke cans. No, no, no. I'm good. Fam. I don't want Kai or Mount or Gallagher. Or Duddy or nah, keep all of them man away from man, blood. Yeah, yeah, you get me? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'd rather you fucking... I'd rather sign Nottingham Forest. I'd rather sign Nottingham Forest players, blood. You get me? Nottingham Forest, one. Man City, one. The pressure... Of the pressures are blood. Man City could have handled the pressure, blood. You get now, nah, let's have it right, blood. They flip it. Bro, they were blowing game, chances, bro. bro. They were the blowing chance chances. Was, the amount of chances they blew, yeah, was absolutely <laughs> ridiculous, blood. But that Bernardo goal, what a fucking strike, That was bro. unbelievable. He, that might have been goal of the weekend, bro. blood. You get me? That that was a fantastic strike, bro. But City can't keep missing these chances, blood. You understand? Like, yeah. Harlan. Lick off the pulse and then when it dropped him again, he Rolling. sent it way Rolling. down the road. <laughs> he sent that to City. That went to the City. Etihad, blood. Yeah, that, that flew up yeah. the M6, bro. You understand? Yeah. I swear down via the M62, blood. That thing flew. You understand? But Laporte, Laporte missed that free that opened yeah, header. Yeah, the Laporte header head straight at the key. Ball. straight. But Navas made some good saves as well, blood. Like, yeah, and I said that when they signed Navas, this is secretly a fucking game changing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe Sign they got him, him. Blood. Because the believe. fucking... How is that? Navas yeah. is so... He's so underrated, bro. Like, the, the disrespect he receives, like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, bro. Like, even, like, 
when fucking PSG bought Donnarumma, I was like, bro, you man got kilo. Like, why are you buying? I know I get the whole Donnarumma future rare tear tear. But like, I was like, bro, you man got kilo. Like, you hear me? Like, I don't get why. Like, why did he go for like Forest? Even at Madrid, the disrespect used to get when they got Courtois. I was like, why is man getting Courtois? They got kilo. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, like when he's seen he was at Flores. Flores, I'm with you, bro. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I don't know how we ended up at the Forest. Because when I seen like, the... no one else, no one else needed to keep us. Fingers well, like, Danilo. That's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when I see like I see Navas like linked to Forest. I was like, no way is that Navas from PSG. People were like, yeah, mm. is that Navas? I'm like, yeah. what happened? Like, there's definitely more to that that he ended up at Forest. Mm. Surely someone like at least even a Europa League side was like, yeah, we'll take Navas. Someone needed a goalkeeper. If it works out for Forest, it works out for them. Yeah, that's how it is. Nuts. Absolutely. You think City are more concerned with the Champions League? Because they got their Champions League game this week, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They play Leipzig on Wednesday. So yeah, on Wednesday, they play Leipzig away. Yeah, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, they got the away yeah. leg. I see, Big away Steve leg. Put up. I see Big Steve saying that he's taking the unfinished Harlem business banner over there <clears throat> to... Leipzig. Oh yeah, he was at Leipzig. Yeah, yeah, was you get Dortmund, me before definitely. he went to Dortmund. So I don't, yeah, I don't think it's City concentrating on the Champions League. City are just not what they were. That's yeah, all it con- is. The consistency's gone, isn't it? Yeah, they just, oh, yeah, like it's like it's the lack of. I say it all the time, like football in 2023, and it has been for a minute now. The past couple of years, it's a pace and power game. They sold mm. Sterling. They sold Jesus. When you look at their players out wide, where is the PMP? Um, but then Pep come out and said that he doesn't need fast wingers. He doesn't need a Sterling and a, yeah, and a Sane. He, but he, <laughs> obviously he's going to say that. But does he yeah. actually believe that? Because nah, when he, he said shit, I actually think he, I actually believe that he fixed this when nah, he said shit. I think he's just trying to get a react. Like Pep will say anything. He'll just get this guy was talking about Steven Gerrard slip. You know what I'm saying? This guy's called yeah, out he the to get to the stadium yeah, yeah, and to apologize. <laughs> to apologize to his wife, his kids, bad things, yeah. bro. Wife was getting trolled. Wife was getting trolled in Tesco. It's Pete. And that's Bro, what he, held a, he, had, he held a press conference to, to oh, press yeah, blood. I am exactly not like that. that. I am sorry. I called yeah. Stephen. I called his wife. I called his son. I don't know how he got the kid's number and the wife's number, blood. Crazy. I think he's just trying to get a reaction out of his team. That's what it is. Mm. Even after he beat, I think it was when they beat Eula in the FA Cup yeah. and he came out and he stated, this is not my team. The passion's not yeah, there. Yeah. The fight's not there. Selling and then he literally Cancelo, got rid of Cancelo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting rid of Cancelo. It's like, yo, there's a lack of pacing. As for yeah. all their wingers are talented, yo, you need pace and power and runners in behind. Yeah. And when they sold Hayes, especially, the especially in the Premier League. Especially in the Premier League. Hundred percent. When you look at all the top wingers, especially in like in the Premier League specifically as well. They're explosive, Marais, powerful they're all wingers. Explosive, powerful, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sterling got hella like disrespect. And it's like one thing Sterling added was goals. And one yeah. thing you don't get from their wide players is goals like that. Their team's yeah. just quality, don't get me wrong. City's team mm-hmm. is quality, mm-hmm. but it's just not what it once was. So I don't yeah. think it's a con- concentrating. It's just them not being where they're at and people figuring out how to play against them. Well, City will throw the bag at it in the summer and try and address it, I think. But we'll see. You think Forest stay up this year? You think they got enough? I think they got enough. Like Morgan gives White's hit form, Brennan's hit form again. Um, the signing of Danilo, Keep like everyone was kind of worried when Henderson got injured, but then Kilo Navas coming in. Like I think they're thirteenth now, bro. I think they're five yeah, points clear Jesus, of the relegation. Yeah. I think they're five Holy points clear shit. of the relegation zone. And I say to oh, everyone, like when a big team goes to Forest, yo, it's a tough game, blood. They beat Liverpool. So City's drawn there. It's a tough, tough game. Like they had zero touches in their box. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Was that New Year's Day? Yeah, yeah you play play play. zero touches in their box in the second half. Just got Pam down the right hand side. Yeah, that that they ain't going down. They ain't going down. Jesus. I think they turn up. They're a lot different with that. <laughs> this <is> <laughs> slapped <laughs> every week. <laughs> <man. Yeah. laughs> Same. Old. At deep. least we didn't lose that one. At least we didn't lose that one. Yeah, that was a draw. Yeah, man. No, yeah, we scored. Points, points, man. We scored the goal yeah, in yeah, that yeah. one. We scored a goal. Yeah, but Forest it seems like <laughs> we scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> we scored a goal. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh man, it's the simple things. When 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 your mom and dad say it, it's the simple things in life. That's exactly what they're talking about right there. Mm-hmm. It's it's go. Go, <laughs> it's ball in the net, just once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll be happy. Hey, Sean Dash for spitting, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't concede and put the ball in the back of the net. That's fact. Simple mm-hmm. things. Sean right, Dash just forgot what he said. That. It was, but yeah, Forrest, because. When you look at even like the bottom of the table, normally like at this point, one team has been way caught adrift. But mm. when you look like, I think Southampton, even, even though Southampton won, they're still bottom. But then I think the team above them 
is like on 18 points and I think West Ham are a point above that and then there's a, a bunch of teams yeah. on 20 and 21 points. So mm -hmm. all it takes is two wins and then it stops. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a couple a couple wins and you can elevate up the table or a couple losses and yeah. you can drop down. Well, so it's we'll fun. see with Forest. Yeah. Someone that's climbing the table, Liverpool, 2 0 victory away at Newcastle. Gakpo is starting to cook two goals in two games. That's that's how the pass was unbelievable. Yeah, I was gonna say right. unreal assist that's from Mo Salah. Salah. Crazy. The second, which one was the what, what was the first goal? The first goal was Trent into uh, the first Nunes. Goal was, was Trent, 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 Trent. Yeah, the new Nunes even yeah the Nunes, Nunes even that yeah. goal blood the way the he Trent brought that down yeah yeah it was cold yeah it was like, he's he's improving as well like you're starting to yeah. see Liverpool you get me they they're starting to hit form. They're starting to get players back into the side. Jota's back. Diaz is close. The Gakpo signing starting to work. For me, they're the team that can make a late push for the top four. Do you lot think Liverpool are capable of getting top four? Because they're only five points off top four with a game in hand. They win yeah. that game in hand. They're two off top four, blood. Yeah, I th And with I th the momentum they're building, all the players coming back into the side... Van Dijk's back. Mm -hmm. They look a lot more stable now. You understand? Can mm -hmm. they make that late surge for the top four place? The final I think, place? I think I think they can. One, because like for the things you stated and two, the teams around, the teams in front of them ain't that good. Like some Newcastle was, as well, they kind of hit a wall. Right, yeah. Newcastle yeah. have hit a brick wall. They've they hit really a brick wall, wall black. Pure, pure draws, years. man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think they might have yeah. drew like six out of their last seven. I think they've drew yeah. over 50, but I think they've drew out 22 matches, 12 games or something yeah, crazy I think like over that. Over 50% of their games over are draws. 50% of their games, yeah. Their goals mm -hmm. have dried up. Spurs, like, watch. No one can convince Spurs them. Spurs are hot and cold. Side. You don't like, know which one's going to turn up. And they're in fourth. And then outside of that, you got Fulham, you got Brighton, you got Brentford. So, yeah, unfortunately, Liverpool, it's seeming, can make a late run. I'm just hoping that yeah. they lose some games. I'm not really trying to see them in the top four. I'll, I prefer them in the mud. Why I think why I think they'll actually <laughs> make it to top top four is the teams the teams that are ahead of them the ones that they compete they're better. with they they over they, those teams are overachieving how long how long can you can you overachieve yes. to keep that high level and as you said Liverpool, I think Liverpool one of the three I think one of Brentford Fulham and and uh, and uh, Brighton will stay in the Europa League places because there's always one team that will stay yes, like a yeah. team that you wouldn't think there's always one that will stay and then the others will drop. Yeah. One of them will stay. I don't know which one. Us, we ain't competing for shit. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. One of them will not, so, I don't even ask you so the questions think, no more. I don't think Dying any of those. I don't <laughs> think any of those will necessarily. Those teams that you mentioned will necessarily. Will, I don't think they'll necessarily drop. I just think Liverpool will. No, I mean like. So, no, I'm Liverpool. When I mean drop, I mean they'll yeah. drop below Liverpool. Liverpool will climb above yeah. them. I don't mean they're gonna drop off a cliff. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean that, that makes yeah. sense. It does sound, and that's going to be the interesting thing. Like I said, Liverpool, it seems, are putting form together. One thing they have is goals. You know what I'm saying? Newcastle are there. Spurs, tsh. like, talk to Spurs fans. Like, there's a reason Conte out, Conte in is a thing. There's a reason why Conte talking about, oh, I love Italy after they just got beat, Rare Ter Ter and all this. Like, I don't, <laughs> rate, I don't rate Spurs like that. So you look at Spurs, you look at Newcastle, the two teams in fourth and fifth. Unfortunately, I believe Liverpool can catch them. Like you mentioned, Zah said it, Brighton and and Fulham and Brentford, they're currently overachieving. But yeah, let's see with Liverpool. Who knows, man? I'm, I'm hoping we play them. That's our next. Yeah, that's actually United's next Premier League game. So hopefully we go to Anfield and beat them. Mm -hmm. uh, Tottenham have us next, so they're going to get another three points. Do you lose to uh, Tottenham, no? though? That's got a draw well, we, we, we will lose to Tottenham. We will lose to Tottenham. I have no... <laughs> if we take a draw there, fair enough. I, I can see that. Being I already a draw. know it's going to be from the admin. 2 0 loss, a disappointing afternoon for the, <laughs> for the Blues. blues. <laughs> Simple as it. He knows the admin's tweet. He knows the admin's tweet when he loses. Mm -hmm. I know the format and everything. Full time, another disappointing afternoon for the Blues. Picture of Mason Mount clapping the fans, all that. <laughs> and then proceeds to spam us with some Gallagher and Mount for the next three days. All smiles in training. What are you smiling for? It's two in 16. <laughs> You're two in 16. And you know what we did? We gave him two days off after the game on Saturday. Yeah, we they never trained on off. Monday. What the fuck? They, they, they never trained train today. Yesterday. They're not training or yesterday. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for, for what? We play one game a week. What are you resting for? What do you need? By the way, we rested Silver and James 
to give them two days off afterwards and we have a game <laughs> next week. Figure that one out. Maybe for the big London derby? Yeah. Maybe. We had one two weeks ago. That's true. We had two two weeks ago yeah. and we didn't win any of them. Yeah, and there was a Fulham one twice. week gap between that. There was yeah. one yesterday. Tottenham 2, West Ham 0. We just touched on Tottenham. Yeah. Blowing hot and cold. Son coming off the bench. Good finish still. That, that was a good yeah. goal. Kane done well there. But Tottenham just blow hot and cold blood. You get me? Yeah. Like You don't know what Tottenham's going to turn up. Tottenham look better when Conte is not on the sideline. When when the man that needs to cut his hair, the man that the, the, the man that's got the Caribbean islands on his headpiece, <laughs> yeah, job, when he him when when he's on the sideline, shit works for them, bro. You understand? Like obviously, hopefully Conte gets better. You understand? We don't wish no fuckery on him. He's a pussy, right. but we don't wish no fuckery on him. You don't get me? No, he's yeah, a pussy, well. though. Let's get that in every time. But when the the island man is there, yeah, they look a different team, blood. He hasn't had one loss. I don't think he's conceded a goal. No, nah, because he beat City and then obviously they beat West Ham as well. But mm -hmm. what's, what Spurs are doing is taking advantage. We spoke on it in regards to Liverpool getting top four. It's just taking advantage of poor position in terms of their league standard not being good. And one thing they have is goals. I'm saying with a Harry Kane, you always mm -hmm. have a chance. But yeah, Conte is just yesterday's news in terms of that style of play. That whole mm -hmm. being defensive and practical. Allegri. Pra my coaches, Allegri, Mourinho, mm -hmm. Conte mm -hmm. all cut from the same cloth. That mm -hmm. doesn't work anymore. That whole defensive being pragmatic doesn't win you big trophies, whether mm -hmm. that's Premier League or Champions League. It's now your. Do you know what I think? I know this is. Like I know this is like thing, but I think I think Wenger would thrive right now because of the style of play. Yes, and the way it is right now, absolutely. Free flowing. Free flowing. He, yes. he kind of went left because it went to a more aggressive style. Facts. You can't now kick it's people back up in the to air like, now. Exactly. Now it's yeah. back to like that free flowing football. Let the stars, let the flair players show the flair, protect the flair players. Well, absolutely. That's that's spawn. That's spawn. But yeah, West Ham they look shocking as well. They were Moyes, like bro. He had he, like they said he had, he had to save his job after that after one game. He won that game. I can't. I forgot what game it was, but he won that game that weekend. Was it, was it Chelsea? <laughs> I nah, think it actually. Drew. Nah, nah they drew. Clouded. It was before it was <laughs> they drew. They drew. <laughs> nah, it was against them. Um, it, it was against one of the relegation. It was Everton. They beat Everton. Everton. Okay. And okay. then Lampard got sacked because it was yeah. the. It was El Sacco. Either he goes or, oh, or Lampard goes. goes. <laughs> yeah. And then and then Lampard got got the you understand? He got, yeah, the, yeah. He got the cut, blood. You get me? But um <laughs> Yeah, blood, it was El Sacco, bro. You get me? But um Moyes is on ropes, blood, you understand? Like yeah. I love what Dex said. Bro, they're like, they're said, like 18th, 17th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18th, Appar 18th, yeah. Big up Dex as well. Apparently he said to Hoiberg, no one likes you. You understand? Big is that up, what he like, said? You yeah, apparently, likes you. apparently. Don't quote me, but word on the street is, yeah, that's what he said. Like, yo, no one even likes you, man, bro. Get out of here. Like, Because <laughs> I seen that man going back and forth, but I couldn't tell yeah, yeah, what yeah. it was about. Yeah, right. He yeah, said, yeah. nobody likes you. That's jokes. Yeah, yeah. That but is. I was very surprised. You know what? I, you know what? Um, Pedro Poro is, has been shocking for uh, Tottenham. But... What he's done is ignite Emerson Royale. Emerson because Royale. since that Don has gone to Tottenham, Emerson Royale looks a different player. That finish was Kane-esque. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I was, was like, bronze. Don, I was like, man like Chicken Royale, what is going on, blood? <laughs> I'm like, well, Burger King must have opened the door and let him out, blood. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> going on, G. You, know, you understand? Pocket Grealish. Yeah, doing, no exactly. look, doing no look passes and all them things there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I am some Royale. No look passes with the thing. But yeah, Moyes is on ropes. 110%, which is weird because normally these teams you associate with being resilient. They shouldn't be where they're at. They shouldn't be 18th. Or they've just, after a good season last season, they just fell off a cliff. I don't know what's, I don't know what's gone wrong. West Ham do, do you think Moyes survives? Because who is really out there to go and get? I mean, Deitch is gone. Allardyce. Yeah. They had Allardyce before. They yeah. had they had Moyes, sat Moyes, got Allardyce. No, they had Allardyce, sat Allardyce, got Moyes, sat Moyes, put in someone else. Hmm. It might have been Allardyce again. Then they sat him and then Moyes went back in. Because there's in, no one really out there who's like, listen, maybe Pulis. Of, it might be a, a big something <laughs> to the end of the season, or Tony Pulis. Like it might be just, just save us, get us to the, the end of the season, get us to that magical 40 points. And then... 
the next season. How big my things are because yeah. big my things are. Banner aside, if West Ham go down, they're fucked. That stadium, they go down in championship with that stadium, yeah. they're fucked. Yeah, yeah. That's like a fifty thousand seater, right? Sixty. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Other than nuts. me. Other than the me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lewis. We're just going to breeze through the rest of the um, weekend fixtures and then preview the flipping Champions League and chat about um, Flawless's big game against Barca on Thursday. <coughs> Brentford won, Palace won, another London, <coughs> another London derby. Brentford saving it, blood. You understand? 96 minutes, bro. Let's Literally see. last kick of the game. Eze thought he had won it. Brentford had other ideas. Wolves nil, Bournemouth won. Big, big win for Bournemouth, bro. That is a huge win for Bournemouth, blood. You get me? That's going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. You get me? That's going to open like, that hole. Look, it seems everybody won who was there at the bottom of the table. Because even Declan Rice was speaking about that in regards to, yeah. obviously, minus West Ham. He was speaking about in his press conference with all the results that went on. A lot of teams won, like Southampton winning down there. Yeah. You just mentioned Bournemouth. Obviously, yep. like, Forrest got a point, even though they're higher yep. on the table. Seems everyone's getting points down there, but we're going to see what happens. Mm. There's, that's, 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 that's Lewis's team just falling Dalton. over. <laughs> that's, 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 his mid, that's, his, that's his midfield falling apart, blood. You understand? Um, and Zonzi. Brighton, <laughs> alive, and Zonzi and their man. I call him Bumzo. <laughs> <laughs> Bums, oh, Bums, Bumzo Fernandez, blood. You get me? Man, Ford right Fiesta and Fernandez, no. man. That's what you're like. saying. Ford Fiesta Fernandez. Yeah, <laughs> Ford Fiesta Fernandez. <laughs> Fiesta Fernandez. Fiesta Fernandez. <laughs> hey, you might know in the mud, blood. I swear down. Brighton nil, oh, yeah, Fulham yeah, one. Man. That's a great Brighton, win for Fulham. I don't know how Brighton didn't win that game. They literally threw everything at Fulham. And then Fulham had literally one breakaway. 86th minute, my man come off the bench, two and two, fantastic finish. Fulham, for the first time, they're not going down, blood. You understand? They're going to, like, remember back in the day, like, oh, six times, they were a Premier League team, got to the Europa League final. And then from they went down, it was up, down, up, down. Yo, yo, thanks. Up, down. This year, they're actually going to stay up and be the true team of West London. Everton won. <laughs> Leeds United nil, like Flawless was saying. Another team down at the bottom, getting a big, <clears throat> big Win Seamus Coleman, what a fucking oh, finish, bro. He yeah. meant that. Him claiming he that, meant that that was intentional, he no, meant that. he did not. He, look he at the way he hit the bulls off. Oh, if you play football, bro, like, Florence, bro, you kick bro. ball, yeah? yeah, yeah Florence, yeah, you kick yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. the way he's hit that? He meant yeah, that. Yeah. That's it's the way he struck it. That's not a cross. Look at the way he struck it. He struck it like a shot. Bro, if you kick ball, you know. The way he struck that, that was a strike. That wasn't a cross, bro. You, that's not that's not a cross. That's not a cross the what box. What are you doing even thinking you can score from Bro, that area? He looked. Was, he seemed yes. measured. He looked. He, he saw measured. Messler off his line. line yeah. And he's, boom. He's, he's, mm -hmm. it's, it was, Bro, you know what, yeah? That was goal of the weekend. Not the, um, Bernardo not the Bernardo one. strike. That, that was goal of the weekend, bro. That was a quality strike. And then yeah, Leeds yeah, yeah. lost, man. Let's go. I need Leeds relegated expeditiously. Man. Leeds are in big trouble. I, I want Good. Leeds relegated because one of my day ones is a Leeds fan because of his granddad. So I hope them okay. pussy always get relegated. Man, I'm, I'm with you on that. I want relegated. Ty wants Aston United Villa ties. relegated. Me and Flores want Leeds relegated. <laughs> that, that was an unreal fan game. That was an unreal fan game. Sadly, Leeds are next home games against Leeds, sadly, so... Oh, oh shit! Oh uh, man, sir. Right. Sorry for hey, Lewis, blood. Hey, disappointing evening for the Blues. Oh, Aye, another team you, that will do the double <laughs> against us. Let's go. Yeah, can they beat you at Ellen Road? Isn't it? Yeah, that Nonto dagger is gonna hit badly, bro. But we move. Before we get to the Champions League talk, you lot already know we have a big up Paramount Plus every time. You understand? The Champions League on Paramount Plus is where you can catch Messi and Mbappe. The legendary showstoppers from the greatest World Cup final ever together on the same team. But how much longer can you see them, blood? You understand? That's the only question, bro. You get me? It won't. I don't know. Will they be? I hope they're out like pride. I mean, uh, actually, I want them to stay in, bro. I'm not going to lie. Down. I won't stay. I can't lie. I want them in. I don't want them out like pride. Because Bayern Munich, PTSD, blood. You get me? But <laughs> the two superstars reunite on PSG to tear it up in football's greatest yearly club tournament. But the competition is fierce. All the top teams across Europe, from Manchester to Madrid, are vying for the title as the world's best players take centre stage. 
See, I never said London because you ain't repping blood. They'll say London next year because we will be inside. <laughs> so, stream every UEFA Champions League match live exclusively on Paramount Plus from the round of 16 all the way through to the final in June. Paramount Plus is your streaming home for the Champions League. Start your free trial at ParamountPlus.com slash live sports. That's ParamountPlus.com slash live sports. Now, Champions League, man, then. Barca. What am I saying? Barca. Really good game. Bayern <laughs> taking on. Nah, that one's next week, blood. No, no, that's, that's next nah, that's week. that's this week. It's Liverpool, Liverpool Madrid. Yeah, it's Liverpool nah, Madrid, Leipzig City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool that's Madrid. Oh, I'm looking at next week, blood. What am I saying, mm-hmm. fam? Liverpool Madrid, last season's Champions League final. Madrid getting the better of them. 1 0 win. Vinicius Junior. That's two. Well, the last two times they've played in the final. I mean, Salah Arm got brought. We know what happened there last year. The man they got slipped yeah. up in Paris. Yeah, Trent Big getting up, dunked on at the back post, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out Trent. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. He got <laughs> dunked on like a motherfucker, blood. Shout out UEFA actually sorting out the whole madness before mm. the final. Liverpool fans have been finally found oh yeah um yeah. not guilty of causing all that fuckery that was going on i've done away games in europe so i know how shit goes down blood you get me so all that i saw on the tv i knew it weren't from liverpool fans you get me because i've been i've been involved in that i know lewis has been in a couple of bullshit things as well blood you understand but liverpool they've hit form at the right time madrid's form's kind of hmm in la liga barcelona got a big gap on them um, Vinicius like has been points? yes, like yeah, eight, I, think nine points or something I, like I think it's eight points. I think it's eight. It's eight points. Um, Vinicius has been getting absolutely like distressed, racially, racially uh, like Crazy. racially abused. Like, tr- I'm, I'm trying to look for a word like like not targeted. racially abused. That's, like, that's why I was They've been targeting. Targeted. Him. That's the word. He's, they are literally targeting him, bro. You understand? Is that what Liverpool should do? Not obviously Liverpool ain't going to target him in the way that these pussy old. Are, are, are targeting him in La Liga, but if you get under Vinicius Junior's skin, is is that the best way to victory? Because Benzi is he's been injured, he's, he's, his form's a bit up and down. They they got they attack. look a lot weaker as well without Casemiro in that midfield. Like without yeah. like obviously Valverde's are done, but Modric and Cruz, there's no legs. Like Casemiro was. The legs, blood. You understand? Yeah. There's, there's no legs there now. Because I've not been watching, but I'm presuming. Obviously, they got Chua Many who can play in there. You got Kamavinga who can play in there. Kamavinga. Fit. I think Liverpool's best ch- plan uh, plan to get through this. They should just attack because the weakest part of Madrid's team would be from a defensive standpoint. Yes, yeah, Vinicius yeah. Junior hasn't been at it, but we know his quality. Same with Benzema. Mm-hmm. But you know what's mm-hmm. crazy is you could rewind this to last year and if they were to play Liverpool and we'd say this, we could say the same thing. That team wasn't order. At the start of the Champions League, nobody was talking about, yeah, Real Madrid to go win the Champions League and Benzema nah. just went on a crazy run that yeah. I've never seen before <laughs> and they did a mazel. And then, you know, they, they beat all the top teams in England because they went past Chelsea, they went past City, they went past Liverpool. And that's mm-hmm. just Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's football heritage. It is. Mm-hmm. Like Benzema could just go there and do a mazel and get a brace. And ties over. It could happen like that, but we'll see. But if Liverpool are going to try to go through, I would, I mean, I'm gonna, their best chance of going through, I would say, is for them is to attack. Attack Real Madrid and go after them and try to go back to the Bernabeu with some form of lead. Because if they don't, I think it's over. I think they get knocked out there. So you think if Liverpool don't win the first leg, it's done? Yeah, I think it's done. I even don't if they, were, to the even if they draw, you see what they, they have draw. to win. I think they yeah, have to go there draw. with some advantage. Yeah. yeah. Like to go to the Even Bernabeu, though Madrid have been poor this season, like, I know that obviously Champions League is a different ball game. That is like the Bernabeu is like fucking um, Anfield on a Champions League night. It's, a, it's got a different aura mm, about it. That's it's, it's it. A different, it turns yeah, into that's a different the thing, beast. Though. And also you've seen with Madrid, like I think because La Liga looks basically done, they're going to throw all the eggs into the Champions League basket. And we've seen with them last season, like, yeah, they might not look the best over the full 90, but they'll pop up with enough moments. And but they're, they're still Madrid. clinical in those yeah. moments. So... I, I don't see Liverpool taking them. I think they're getting better, but even Liverpool at their best, they weren't better than Madrid. So right now, I don't see it. And when you have a player the calibre of Karim Benzema, you always have a chance. Over 180 mm-hmm. minutes, they got the best attacker on the pitch. And we've seen... <laughs> you don't think the league. Casemiro... The Casemiro factor last season... Casemiro's because, like, that, I, I, remember, I remember, like, the, 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 the Chelsea game. 
at the Camp New at the, at the Camp New at the, at the Bernabeu. Mm. Second half, Casemiro turned into an animal, blood. Yeah. Casemiro, of course you're going to miss They just started just doing them. I was like, hey, uh, here they are, mm. blood. Now they're coming for these blues, blood. The lions mm. are going to get caught because you only got your lion on your team. Why have you got a lion and you can't even growl, blood? Like, that's, 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 that's for another day, blood. You get me? They need to put a little kitten on there. Hit that lion. True. Real talk, blood. Might have put Sylvester in there, man, there. You get me? But prediction, lads. <laughs> uh, I want to go... Um boy, I'm gonna go three one Madrid. Three one Madrid. Raw. I said three one Madrid. Okay, let's go. Madrid. Lewis. I don't wow. rate Liverpool like that. Even though they're getting better, yeah. like I don't really rate them like that. Liverpool, they're gonna. You don't think they've looked? I think they've looked a lot better in recent weeks. You know, I'm going for a Liverpool now, win. But like when you're playing Madrid, it's different. It's different, yeah. and they're like a bogey team to Liverpool. I don't think Liverpool have been beating them in ninety minutes. Not since that four nil in two thousand and nine and all that. Yeah, That's when Torres ago. did the mad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that was and that wasn't even a good Madrid side. Like I said, man, they got as bad as they are team wise. And yeah, it's a team game. They have individuals who can hurt you. You know what I'm saying? When you have Benzema, when you have Vinicius Junior, and you have Modric, you have three players who are if they're on ten, at any moment can produce an individual piece of magic to get you a goal or create something out of nothing. Like mm. hundred, like one hundred percent. So I'd say Madrid. I reckon Madrid two one. No Madrid two one. Uh. I get the sense that this game just might have come maybe a game or two too early for Liverpool that day. They beat Newcastle and uh, I think it was the Merseyside Derby and all that that mm-hmm. needed to build a little bit more rhythm. I think Madrid will win it. I think Madrid will win 2-1. I'm going Liverpool 3-1. I've, I, I'm, I'm the Anfield, Champions League night, Salah scored against um, Everton. That got him his confidence. Darwin started to score. Gakpo scoring, Jota's back, Van Dijk's back. Like, you understand? They're looking a lot more like, like Liverpool, you get me? I'm going 3-1 Liverpool. Have you got Liverpool going through in the tie troops? Yeah. Really? Okay. Wow. You think Liverpool's going to knock out Madrid? Okay. Yeah. Wow. I... I think Liverpool do it. Liverpool in the Champions League, they're, they're like Madrid. They're very similar. They're a different animal in that tournament. You get me? And... I just think that Liverpool, that's going to be their little, that's going to be their sparkle this year, the Champions League. You get me? They're not going to win it or nothing. They might get the semi final. You get me? But that's going to be like the highlight of their season. Eintracht Frankfurt taking on Napoli. Napoli did absolutely wonderful things in the group stage. They are doing wonderful things in Serie A. Oh, yeah. It looks like they're going to win Serie A if they yeah. keep up. Their form, you get me, their first one, I believe, since Maradona? Yeah, it would be probably, which is like 86, yeah? 86, oh, 87. Like it'd, be like, yeah, it'd be late 80s, yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Eintracht Frankfurt, obviously Europa League losers. No, Europa League winners. They beat yeah, they Rangers in the final last year. Yeah, they yeah, they, they won, won it last year. They've got out the group stage. Um, I think this is a step too far for them, though, man. Napoli, yeah. especially when they go to Naples, but I've been to Napoli I've been to Naples, that stadium. We actually won there. We won 2 0 in Europa League. Like a blood closet of an amazing free kick. But that stadium is a different, it's different, bro. Them fans are different, blood. You get me? But then Frankfurt, their fans are fucking nuts as well, blood. Like when you look at their home games, blood, they fuck me, bro. Their man are on. This is a mad game still, like, even, like, off the pitch, like, the hooligans are going to get cracking. <laughs> this is going to be a fight. This is going to be mad. This is going to... Hey, Babylon everywhere, blood. I'm telling man, bro. This one here, Lord of his mercy. If this was in Turkey, like, Galatasaray, Istanbul as well. Ah, uh, them ones. Yeah. This would have gone, oi, Turkish hooligans, the fucking them hooligans, that blood clot. Yo, like, this is going to be a flare competition. Who's got the biggest flare? <laughs> I swear <laughs> down, pause. Who's got the biggest flare, blood? Yeah, my one's like 25 foot. Yeah, nigga, my one lights up the whole fucking stand, blood. You understand? So that time you can't even see the crowd because there's so much flares in the fucking yeah, that's in true. the thing, bro. That's true. It's just smoked. Mm. You yeah. just see red. And all you see is like the jumping. The man are fucking the man are mad, blood. The man are crazy. But I, I, I'm going Napoli. Yeah, Nep- Nepalese. Yeah. I mean, Nepalese is untouchable right now. Say Napoli, yeah, because Napoli are legit. Big that Osman. Huh? Claradonna, as they call smoke. him as well. Osman's yeah. on smoke. Claradonna's on smoke. Napoli are legit. When you look at the Champions League, they're the only team who are really in form. 
When you look at all yeah, the big yeah. teams there, yeah, none of yeah, the other yeah. big teams really, whether it's PSG, Bayern, Manchester City, Real Madrid, we just spoke on, all your usual candidates Liverpool. and favourites, no one's at it. Liverpool, nobody's mm-hmm. really at it mm-hmm. apart from them. So yeah, I would Even Chelsea, because myself. you lot are... Even Chelsea. Just, let's oh, be yeah. real, banter aside. Chelsea is it. It's a compliment, mm. Lewis, man. You know what I'm saying? I like oh, look, <laughs> bands, well, uh, Compliment, yeah. I ain't used to that. I ain't used to that. Sorry. It's been you see, like, he didn't even know, Black. He, <laughs> he didn't even know. He, <laughs> he, oh, even know. he just thought he'd choke or something. Nah, nah, look, see, he just thought he'd... That's bigging him up if he's just catching strays, blood. No, no, no. That's a big up to you, like, like Chelsea like- are one of the teams that are, at, you're at least a dark horse in the Champions League. But yeah, I would expect Napoli to get Dark horse? Oh, so we, we, we're like a little pony. No, no, no. Bro, I'm not yeah. saying now. No, no, no. I'm not saying now. I'm saying like in previous years. Oh, yeah. yeah you've won the Champions yeah. League like yeah. and you've not been expected to type of thing or you get yeah, to I didn't even stages. hear that. This thing's just been glitching left and right. Nah, no stress, man. It's all good. It's all good. So whatever I'm going, Napoli? Yeah, yeah, Napoli. Yeah, Napoli. Yeah. 100%. Leipzig City, Harlan going back to his old stomping ground. The man them that made him known in this thing. No, he wasn't at Leipzig. He was at Salzburg. Yeah, no, he's... Salzburg, Salzburg. He was at Salzburg, innit? Yeah, Red Bull, Salzburg. Yeah, Salzburg. Yeah, 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 Salzburg. Yeah, it wasn't Leipzig. It was Salzburg. Okay. But fucking... Bro, they're all. Werner and them man there, you know. And Cuckoo. Lewis's Ooh, boy. Werner's their top goal scorer. Like- all time. Mm-hmm. I'm going Leipzig. You're going Leipzig? I'm going Leipzig. I'm going Leipzig wait, wait, wait. To win the t- to win the first leg or go through? Is that? I both. What? Both. What? I think oh. I think I think I think City is I mean City's been shaky. City City has been shaky. You know they want that Champions League over everything. Like they'll sell their soul for that Champions League. Right. Especially oh, this year. Nah. Do they have enough, bro? And I mean that Leipzig squad. This is crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Go on, we'll I know you we'll fought see. this through, though, Zah. Why? Go on. I know you're not just saying that. I know you fought mm, this through. So what is it? It's just, it's, I'm not so, so, it's, no, it's more free, watching man. City week in, <laughs> week in, week out. It's more watching City week okay. in, week out. They just haven't been convincing. They haven't been convincing. At yeah, all. I did. I just don't see any and I way. Sent, I sense a shock. City 2 1. Yeah, I think City. Probably, I'd say this. I think the tie is over by the time it gets back to the empty yard. I would say I think it's it's done and dusted. I'm saying two 0 You think it's over this? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. City are miles better. Than, I've not watched a lot of Leipzig, but I've seen bits of it. Like I don't think they can compete. City are not where they've been at, but even City dropping off are still levels above a Timo Werner Leipzig. Timo Werner yes. is your key guy. Yeah, City are smoking. I can't lie. Yeah. I mean, it I might be goals in both games, but like, yeah, but no, they're winning. I want you to be right, Zah. I want City up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going Leipzig. I don't want them. I want them to stay in there because they, they could concentrate on that, blood. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, <laughs> about, this, this ain't about the Arsenal and that. You know what I'm saying? This is about what yeah, I let want. Let them stay in there. That. Nah, nah, nah. We nah, need, let them stay out, in. We need City out the champs, man. Let them, let them, we don't need them picking up the Champions League. <laughs> we don't need that. You know what I'm saying? And that. No, we need them out so I can enjoy the Champions League in peace. All these English teams out so I can just watch and kick back. Tired of this bullshit with all these English sides getting into the last stages. <laughs> in a portal, the final game. Inter have been up and in, Inter have been right this year. Porto, they're always flipping running away in Portugal, blood. I'm going I Inter. Do. Cause they're at home. So I'll go Inter. Mm. See, I watched Inter in the group stages and they were impressive. impressive. Yeah, go on, Zah. Go on, go on. Sorry. San Siro is a tough place to win. I was leaning for Yeah, it's got to be Inter. I'm saying no, I well. think it's, it'll be tight, but I think it'll be Inter as well. It'll be Inter. Yeah, I got, I, I got a draw. I watched Inter in, the, in their group stages, even though they went through. Obviously, you see in the group with Barcelona, I'm not super impressed. I'll say, I don't know if they're going to go through in the tie or not, but I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying draw. I'm saying draw. Europa League. The big one. Man United taking on Barca. <laughs> Yo, flawless. Currently 2-2. Two, two. The game is it's half time and it's 2-2, two, two, blood. You get oh me? Oh, my like, God. Yeah. It's Dembele. Dembele is Dembele available? Is he still he's out? Injured. Yeah, he's still out as far as I know. He's out. Pedri's injured. Gavi suspended. Yeah, Gavi suspended and Pedri yeah. came because he came off in it. Well, yeah, Pedri got, yeah, he came yeah. in 40 minutes in, in the first leg. So they're without those three. Yeah. So, so you're feeling. Play in midfield. Busquets? 
Those guys injured, I believe. Yeah. I believe so. I don't know if so he's still out. Dembele, Dembele and Bus- Frankie. Bus- don't, don't quote me on those two. Dembele and Busquets yeah. though. But yeah, go on. So probably be Frankie, Kese. And De Jong. Yeah. Probably those three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm com- yeah, I'm confident. I have no reason to not be confident going into this game. 100% Pred- against these men. Prediction? Uh, prediction. 2 0 Manchester United. 2 0. Yeah, I say this. I, I, say, I say 2 1. Say 2 1. Okay. 2 1 United. I think yes. I, I think Barca score. You go through, but I think Barca get a, yeah, Barca get a goal. All right. That's so, you're going to like this, Flawless. Go I mean, United, United's just looking unstoppable. They're looking good. I think, I think, I think it's going to be 3 0. Ross. And United. 3 0. Yeah. Okay. You're more confident yeah. than me. I mean, yeah, bro. No Gavi, no Pedri, no. It's, it's, no Dembele. And yeah, you guys, man. the way Rashford. The yeah, but Ter Stegen is a serious keeper. Like, Did you see the. Did you see Whoa, the saves that gap? Did you see the saves that Testegen was making? The Sega ain't no idiot in about three no. He no no Rashford idiot, but hey hey, he is. But let's not forget, getting. we also seen him. You know what I'm saying? Doing a trench, struggling, but not at the back post, at the near post with that Rashford first goal. Let's not forget yeah. that Rashford, that first goal. Yeah, Rashford's banging for him. Casemiro's playing. It'll be a, for the first time. It'll be Casemiro potentially next to Sabitzer as well, which means Fred won't play, which will solidify our midfield. He'll probably Sancho. play Vekos in the ten. Or he could play Sancho there. Bruno might play wide right. Like, so he's got he's, options. He's another one that's Martinez is back United, as well. United, United against us. Yeah, Martinez United is against. back. So that's good. But then again, Shaw played well in the first leg. So I'm not sure what Tenner is going to do. For the first time, he actually has options going into this game. Because we all knew what the team was going to be in the first leg because of injuries and suspensions. But now some of those players, the suspended players are now back. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm confident going into this. We should beat these men. If we don't, Luke. I'll be pissed. Um, I think Barca's defense might make it a bit tip, um, difficult, but I still see United winning. Still see United win. I think it'll be a one nil thing, though. I think it'll be one nil. I don't think there'll be a lot of goals in this one. But yeah, I'm looking one at the nil. other. Oh. I'm looking at the other fixtures. There's nothing really yeah, appealing to me, like yeah? PSV, Sevilla. Like, like, how can you guys been playing? We come in the next, playoff. so because we won our group, we missed this round. Oh, we come in the next yeah. round. So because yeah, United yeah. finished okay. second, they win. They play the Champions League dropout. Yeah, we have to go into the. So playoff. we avoided this by winning speed. our group. Yeah, yeah, okay. we're straight. So we, yeah. we ended up in this, you know, because there's a guy who's now applying his trade in Saudi Arabia. He was a hindrance to us, but that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> whole different conversation that people ain't ready for. People ain't ready for. You know what I'm saying? And that people ain't ready for. Top clubs in Europe are all after him. Yeah, that's why he's now playing in Saudi Arabia. But hey, different conversation. Different conversation. People ain't ready for. That's your that's your top goal scorer from last season. For yeah, us. it's all well and good. Show, 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 the, in, in show our, the men a little respect. In, in our worst ever season. You know what I'm saying? And that. Respect. Let's not forget that. <laughs> respect. Worst ever, our worst respect. ever season. You know. Yeah. Respect. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's playing in Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Just saying top God. European clubs are in for him. That's what I got told. You know what I'm saying? Anyone <laughs> would be lucky to have him. Man went from bottles of water at halftime to shisha and Arabian tea. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I got criticized. Lewis, you know you was that. I got heavily criticized mm-hmm. for this. You know what I'm saying? Heavily criticized. Why do you wear my your you club? Right, so he's that good. But no, we're that. Yeah, you got to respect him. Da, da, da. No, what's he doing right now? You got it. That's your legend, right? He now. is 100%. <laughs> never take that away from him. Legend, but there's no sentiment. You know what I'm saying? In that, what are you doing right now? And right now, you're playing in Saudi Arabia and you're struggling <laughs> over there. Like, this is the facts. Hey, I'm not lying when I say this. Uh, Again, Viva Ronaldo. Like, Viva Ronaldo. Oh, great. I didn't want him in the first place. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want him in the first place back. I'm like, yo, this is going to be... And again, Lewis knows we'd stream pretty much every other day. He knows. I was on this. Don't bring him back because this is what's going to happen. And look what happened. And Russ, Running down it was fun while it lasted. You get me? Yeah, fun for you lot. You know what I'm saying? I, enjoy, for I me. enjoyed it, blood. You get you me? Lot. Yeah, of course you lot enjoyed bro, it. I'm saying. I remember that first game. Who, who did you guys play at Old Trafford? That first game that he came uh, back and he scored. Leeds. United it might have been Leeds. On Twitter. My Yeah, sentiment, God. man. That's what it is. Uh, sentiment. He's back. He's back. back. He's going to score 500. Yeah. So 500. Zah's so taking the piss. And we had our worst ever. We had our worst ever season. People forget this ever, <laughs> ever. We had our worst season ever, oh, and people wanted to take. God. No, he's a part of the team because if the team was successful, you would have praised that man. So when the team is unsuccessful, <laughs> it's fair to criticize. People like to do that. 
I'm saying pick and choose. The team's successful, ah, all praise him. The team's unsuccessful, now nah, you can't criticize him. No, he's a part of the team. All these guys, he's, nah. Like I say, there's a reason he's not playing in the Middle East. Where's all these top clubs in Europe? We've seen the Burnley manager during the World Cup. You were in the championship saying, nah, I wouldn't take him. People acting like that didn't happen. We all seen Vincent Company sat on, you know what I'm saying, in the BBC studios when he was doing the game. Would you take him? No. And they playing in the championship. But well, this is the guy people said was going to lead us to Premier League and Champions League glory. This is why I want fans far away from my club as possible. Because they'd have us in League Two. <laughs> on my life. <laughs> have you in League Two. I swear on my life. Hey, like, our fans those, advocated those... for selling Jorginho but keeping Mount. So I'm with you on that. And with that, that yes. and with that, blood, that is the perfect way. Episode 207, wrapped in a zubby, just the way Jorginho wrapped Chelsea when he left their club and wrapped Villa on this weekend, blood, and has Lewis scratching his headpiece from every angle, every corner. You understand? He's going to have no hair left, blood. I saw Pep scratching his head on the weekend. I was like, brother, what are you scratching? There's nothing there, bro. There's <laughs> nothing there, blood. <laughs> you understand? But we got the man them every time, blood. My nigga Lou, my nigga Floor, Zaza. You know the vibes. Man them's channels will be in the link. You don't know already. Love. Vinny, big up your damn yeah. self, blood. You understand? Jet ski's doing up fucking skiing in them thing there. <laughs> Vinny's on everything, blood. Vinny's recording, Vinny's editing, Vinny's uploading, Jetski's just fucking going down a fucking slope, blood. Hopefully he's got insurance because, you know, America, if you buck your leg, you have to peer for that blood clot. Mm -hmm. But, you get me? We got everybody like I do every time, blood. And like we say at the end of every episode, blood. Stay safe and wash them fucking hands, blood. <laughs>